health and safety and around violence. We need never again to worry about whether we can access N95 masks and other protective equipment. We need to have those rights in the collective agreement. And we need more protections from what is a rising tide of violence against our members in the hospitals. We need to make gains in this round of bargaining. And we believe that we should be able to negotiate at least a wage increase equal to the rate of inflation. And I was heartened sisters, brothers, and friends uh, to read that only yesterday the British government, which has a 1% wage ceiling for its National Health Service or hospital staff in the United Kingdom, relented and gave them a 3% increase. And I'm saying to the Ontario government, which takes so many nods from Great Britain, that they should look at the recognition that the British government has made of its healthcare workforce, the sacrifice that they have made, and it should take heed because these workers do not deserve to take a real wage cut as thanks for uh, the sacrifice during the pandemic. So thank you so much. We are going to push back against these concessions. We are going to push back against what our wage cuts. We are going to organize. We have organized 55 of these rallies of which we're proud. The reason we chose Hamilton is it's our heartland for the hospital sector. That's why we're here first. We are the strongest in this city. We have been forever. And we're here today to say we're pushing back against this government in a major rally in Toronto, September the 10th, just before we return to bargaining. And we expect that we will be back here to talk to you about a contract that gives you dignity and respect. 